Hello, community. I hope you have a beautiful weekend because we have a brand new rack system that we're going to look at today. It is called here M3 Dock Rack, a multimodal retrieval is what you need for the multi page, multi document understanding. So we have a University of North Carolina and Bloomberg, which is really interesting, published November 7, 2024. And the authors tell us, hey, to the best of our knowledge, no prior work has explored here the rack settings for a multimodal document understanding only with multimodal models. So let's have a look at this. Bloomberg, you remember Bloomberg? There's a lot of information in the text. We have a lot of information here, maybe in the tables. Maybe we have some time series, how it changes, or we have graphs. So we need a multimodal information. How we do this? This M3 dog rack leverages here a multimodal rack approach that integrates multiple document types and information forms from text, images, charts, graphs, whatever you have. For the retriever, they use here a multimodal called poly model, which I also showed you already. That's a very powerful model. So this is a retrieval model that projects both the text and the images and the graph into a vector space, into a shared embedding space, a mathematical space, allowing other models now to understand and preserve here and work with this visual information now encoded here in a vector space. And then they take a very powerful vision language model, QN2 vision language, which processes here the retrieved visual and textual content jointly. And it captures here the complex document layout, the charts and the figures alongside the query text. So two simple step process. Let me show you how this works. So we have a question. Hey, there is a Ben Studio 2019 game cover. And it has a man leaning on what? Now, if you combine this, you see system goes here, for example, to Wikipedia, finds this band studio. Yes, beautiful. Look at the product that were published here. It says, OK, then goes here to the product page, says, ah, this was published in 2019. So this is a hit here. And then a man leaning on what? And then there is here a cover, an image from the cover of the album. And you see the man is leaning here on a motorcycle. This is what we want to have. We want to have multiple documents, multiple formats, multiple rack systems combined here into this ability. If you are not familiar with Cool Poly, I have here a very simple video. Already three months ago, I showed you how to use Cool Poly for a rack system and we built it together. About two months ago, I showed you how to find you in your own poly system. We used here a poly jammer system, your vision language model, and I give you a free colab notebook for the code. If you're completely new and you want to understand what is this model Q and Q vision language and cool poly, here are the two documents I would recommend here that if you want to have a deep dive in your architecture. Of course, we have it available on GitHub Q and Q video vision language. And of course, it is available for us on Hugging Face. So here you have it with everything explained. And you also see here whenever a new model is available, you have here this beautiful hint, use the latest model. And the same is, of course, valid for Cool Poly. You see, we have an update here today. Beautiful. If you want to say, okay, but how good is this vision language model that we use? This here is from today here a benchmark of the best vision language model on this planet where the complete AI community voted here. And as you can see here, here we have QN2 vision language. Now this is the 72B. This is a real big brother if you want. And it is has rank number nine. So we have our chat GPTs, our Gemini's from Google, our Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Then we have QVEN, and then we have the first LAMA 3.2 model. So I think it's a real powerful model, and it has a beautiful recent knowledge cutoff. You see, 2024-09. So how is this system built? There's a three-stage pipeline here for the effective retrieval and the generation. Document embedding. So converts any pages here to a visual embedding using Cool Poly. Great. 
Then it uses here a similarity operator to identify pages that are most relevant to the question with an appropriate indexing. It's standard here. And now the nice thing is here, for the question answering, we have now our QVAN2 vision language model that generates the answer based on the retrieved pages, accommodating here the visual and the textual context together in this common mathematical vector space. If you want to have here the benchmark data, this is what the authors give us. You see here the language model, here text track or multimodal language models, and then here at the bottom you see Cool Poly plus Edifix and Cool Poly plus QN2 vision language. And they only use here the 7 billion free trainable parameter model. And you see they have a real good performance. So what they give us here, they say, hey, finally, we have shown that here are some qualitative examples where our new M3 dog rack can successfully tackle different questions whose answer sources exist in various modalities. And this is the nice part, no? Text, graph, table, image. It doesn't matter in what form you bring in the information or the information is available for you. This model here, it takes everything in and it is able to understand this because it converts all the information into a vector space. Now, you might say, hey, how perfect is it? Just look here at the overall accuracy or the F1 scores. And you might say, hey, 100%? Oh, no, no, look at this. This, this is our performance data. So I think you, if you want to apply this, no, this is the performance you can expect. Great. Now, of course, this is here with a commercial company, with Bloomberg. And of course, because maybe Bloomberg was partly financing this study or helping or providing the data or the infrastructure, I have no idea. But whenever we have a big commercial player, maybe this big commercial player is not interested that you have access to the code because maybe the company says, hey, we paid for this, partially. So the question is, how do we get to the open source code? We have access to the models and we know how to build it. But is there any way to have access to this? And the answer is yes. Look at this. Two months ago here on my YouTube channel under the community tab, I give you always a new code implementation, new Jupyter notebooks, new Python files, whatever I find and I think is interesting for us as an AI community. And two months ago, I showed you here, hey, we have a new multimodal rack implementation. And I told you, hey, it's a boiling hot prototype code, so be careful. This is really just out of the press. And we combined here already Cool Poly with a QN2 vision language model. And we have here an open source Jupyter notebook. And I've given you all the links. And all of this is thanks here to a very special person. But just let's have a look here at the Jupyter notebook. Here you have it in this GitHub repo here. You have here Cold Poly in QVAN2 vision language model. And you have here already two months ago, the complete notebook. You can open it in Colab. There's even an explanation explaining step by step what it is doing, how it is calculating the similarity score. And you have the complete code for you. Now, we have, I think, to say thank you here to Murph because she provided us, she was working with Hugging Face, she provided us with this boiling hot prototype coding. So I know that she likes if you, if she accumulates some follower. So if you appreciate her effort, hey, why not follow her? I don't get up or on Hugging Face. Great work. So there you have it. We have now a brand new publication from Bloomberg and here a university. But you know what? The primary idea was already implemented two months ago by the open source community. Of course, the code from two months ago is not here using here some beautiful elaborated data pipeline like Bloomberg, of course, has internally in the company. But if you just want to build the system, if you want to use the code, we have an open source prototype code implementation available for you. And now... Bloomberg maybe is using this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there was some new information. If you want and jump into coding, enjoy it. And it would be great to see you in my next video.